Well, we did an enormous survey of quantum physicists to figure out what their favorite interpretations of quantum physics were. And I wanted to also ask the readers more generally. So the survey was very precise. The quiz is a lot more fun. Uh, you know, we're asking people about their favored quantum interpretation. So that's, you know, how you view the underlying world behind the equations of quantum physics. And actually, it's kind of based on the assumptions that you make, how you view the world. And so I thought that was something we could translate onto everyday readers, not just quantum physicists, you know, a little bit like when I read um, my Cosmo magazine as a teenager, the idea of matching up which Spice Girl I might be, depending on answering a few key questions. I wondered if it would be possible to, to share this quantum fun with all our readers and give them the same type quiz, but to find their quantum interpretation. What do these results of the quiz tell us? Our readers tended to be a bit more real of a realist than our quantum physicists who responded to the survey. So we have a thing called a wave function in quantum mechanics, and it describes the state of a particle as this kind of fuzzy mess of probabilities before we then have a measurement and a defined outcome. Realists want that to be corresponding to reality in some way. They want their physics to be describing something that's real. Why that is, I think, probably comes down to the fact that realist interpretations may be very appealing instinctively, but they also come with their own baggage. And there are a few problems there to do with instantaneous effects that are hard to reconcile with special relativity, for example, um, that maybe mean physicists are less likely to go down that route. What do you think we can take away from all this? The very fact that we can attempt to put people in different camps of different interpretations based on asking them these questions maybe is a good starting point for people examining their own instincts about science, about physics, whether they think about particular facets of it being more important than others, because especially if they're going to maybe go into working in a field like quantum interpretations, trying to understand them, examining their own starting point could be really useful.